Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Wildermyth. Last time we left off, we were not on the screen. I was in the middle of like a little cutscene thing with, um, with Duncan, and it was talking about like we faded after the use of, uh, after Gilligan's magic, but upon loading the game up today, it seems like it skipped that cutscene. I don't know why. Uh, I watched back my video just to make sure, and I definitely did save at that spot, but it seems like it just loads me into the chapter complete. That is unfortunate. Uh, I would have liked to see that. I wish there was some way I could. But, uh, that's a bummer. But, I mean, it was at the end, it was probably just like, oh, we did it, um, and Gilligan explained his magic. And the wings and everything. I have to guess. I have to assume that's that's the case. That is a bummer. I didn't know that would happen. Uh, I did need to save there last time because I wasn't sure how long those cutscenes were going to go on, and I was running out of time. But all right, your victory has undermined the enemy's plans. Next, we also probably explained the the queen when Kess told the Silvervein sages that Nori Hinge was restored. Their leader nodded curtly, and the other sages sat back out for it without a word. Amy Kurt nods with a height of gratitude in their order. Asked an appraiser how much my eye was worth. What'd they say? Less than I thought. All they give my plans to marry into riches. Duncan tried to take Evaner shopping at the local outfitters. Plus to give the seekers of the visiting star a great discount. I like the clothes I have. Yeah. How many days straight have you worn that thing? Yeah, we've seen that one before. Tyrus was acquired by a family of cats for a few seasons. He would watch them stalk birds in the morning and eventually reach the conclusion cats are terrifying. They are. Red performed experiments on monster parts, things he was able to convince Gilligan to donate to the cause. No significant weaknesses were found. It's okay, hitting them with pointy things seems to work too. Duncan Griff's son has reached adventuring age. Hughes Griff has joined the Seekers of the Visiting Star. Okay, welcome Hughes. Uh, Thundering Challenge, Broad Swipes. I'll give you Broad Swipes. Uh, during the years of peace, lower speed, but extra block out of Duncan. I mean, I'm fine with that. Alright. Yeah, I wish there was a way to, like, rewatch the cutscenes or something. I'm guessing with, like, where I saved, it didn't perfectly save it at the right spot. It was just like, well, they're in the ending. So, that is a shame. Uh, alright. Let's see what we want to get. I think first things first, I need to get Gilligan a wand. Like, a good one. <laughs> He needs one. Um, so we're gonna get the Crown Ensorcelor. Yeah, let's do that. Enjoy. So you actually have a good wand now. Um, let's see whose other weapons and stuff we want to upgrade. Kest um, did unfortunately go down, so now has to use a crossbow. Which uh, sucks, because it does less damage than the, than the bow. And has less range, I think, but we'll have to make it work. Hmm. Yeah, because red, I mean, yeah. Let's see, it takes four spell threads, six heartwoods. Is there anyone I want to give better stuff besides that? Duncan might be retiring this chapter. Duncan, are you retiring? No, not quite. Uh, well, you might still because some time's going to pass. So I don't know how hard I should go in on getting you a new weapon. You have a great spear... Or no, just a regular spear, rather. Well, it cost me three spell threads, two heartwoods, and a hide, but I could give you a fire spear. Hughes, you're fine. I could give you a shield. Or something. Actually, the poison on your with broad swipes would be kind of interesting. Uh, do you think I want to upgrade Red's dagger? It doesn't even take that much, so yes, please. Let's upgrade that. Um, can I get you? Currently, you have a hasping speed armor dodge. Do we have anything that's minus speed? Eh. Order army potency. Speed, warding, dodge, armor, warding, minus speed. Yeah. I think I want the extra speed from Dread Hasping, so yeah, take that. Um, what next? Evaner? You're currently wearing Clate. 
Could give you a little bit more armor and stuff. Accuracy uh, bonus damage. Hmm. Wouldn't mind upgrading your axe either. The flare axe. You get broad swipes by default. That seems worthwhile for you. Big stunt damage, yeah. Okay, so what else do we want besides that? Um, can't really afford too much now. I could upgrade your clate. To have extra armor. Honestly, you're good on armor though. So if I was gonna upgrade anyone's armor, I would upgrade uh, yours. One extra armor, 0.5 extra warding. How about Gilligan? Extra spell damage on Gilligan? Let's go for that. Also, what benefits does Gilligan actually get from having these wings? Uh, once per combat, Gilligan and all adjacent allies enter Gray Plane. Oh, that's very good. That's neat. I do like you with your moth wings. Okay, so we're pretty much out of stuff now. I won't futz over too much more of this. Shadows deepen. Draw an extra monster. <sighs> Alright. Can't you just explain? Up here every morning. Today, it seemed like I wasn't alone. Apparently, no. You can't explain. But the glow is still out there, see? Where am I supposed... Oh. A little south of... Yeah. A green-gray smudge disturbs the distance. What do you think, Gilligan? Is it something? Well, Elsie, I'll tell you what. I think it's him. The old Mothman? When he advertises his position like that? Plainly out in the day? It's not his style. Sure, but why do people burn flag leaf? Cry for help would be his last resort, I'm sure. Wouldn't be hard to follow. Certainly looks similar to the signal he raised when we were looking for you. Even so, Elsie Arkwright's the one who called your attention to it, right? Remember who her sister is? You have any reason for believing it's our Mothman? It's almost like I can read his signature in the shade of that light and feel him calling out to me. One day I shall come and tell you everything. I'll see what choice we have, good or bad. We have to figure out what it means. Well, when you put it that way... Um, Elsie enters quietly from outside. I'm not one of you, but I'll just say... This Mothman, his intervention is what led to my rescue, right? Any others you saved? Let me go. I've been training for this. I owe it to him. I'll see. Hmm. I'm leery of being lured around again, but you're right, Gilligan. Confusion kills, and that's all we'd be left with, sitting here on our hands. Hey, did you hear me? We did. Yes. You're too green for this. You'd get killed. Sorry, but it's the truth. I guess she's ready. Elsie's experienced things that might have broken any of us. She survived, she's worked, and made herself strong. I don't have to send her by herself, but maybe it's time to bring her along? Do you not trust me? Well, I understand that you're fighting my... who used to be my sister, but I... I've grown up in a different world than you. You fought the battles, yeah, but us? We... we all suffered. It's not your fault, it's just we didn't get a choice. I'll tell you, when we were down there, it all felt inevitable. One by one, our doom devour would devour us, turn us into monsters. But my memory of that time is blurred. I remember the hideous blue light, the hidden purple door, and the smell of rotten leaves, my sister's voice. I'm not afraid to invoke her name, Elena. She promised I'd make it home again. And thanks to you, I'm here. Today I'm ready to choose my fate, and face the things that forced us to suffer. Forced my sister to change, so please. So this is the character that we actually saved when they were, like, way younger. So, yeah, you're probably like 20 or something now, because quite a few years passed, basically. And you want to go get your sister back. She deserves her chance. Come on, Elsie, let's find you a weapon. Bring her along. I won't raise a big fuss, I guess, but no turning against us at the final pivotal moment, all right? Would have gone even if you'd alone if you denied me. Gilligan helps Elsie find a piece she's comfortable wielding. And soon the company's assembled, pursuing the strange signal that glows, fades, and reappears beyond the hills. Here we go again, Duncan. And again, we'll come home together. All right, so. LC joined. You are a 19-year-old warrior. You have Guardian, you have a net. Interesting. Alright. We have way too many warriors. Is something I'm immediately noticing. Well, I'm definitely not gonna be bothering to recruit anybody. We have we have way too many characters right now. So uh recruiting would be very pointless in my opinion. Alright, so. 
If we send those over there, let's drop one of the warriors, Hughes, and put in at least Tyros. You can go there. And then you can go there. So everybody's doing something. Don't, last resort, Duncan must follow a, a recurring dream. Yeah. You can guess, can't you? I'm about to say something drifty, dreamy, dramatic. That's what's great about Blue Fire is it sets a spooky, whatever, atmos thing. Gilligan, you remember. There's times I've worked, I've woken in a burning sweat. I have nightmares that curl my soul of a place I've never been. Torched house, the blue blaze eating bones. I feel dread. Mr. Not Dreaming of Other Guys? Oh, uh, what? No, I don't. <laughs> when I asked you to come with me on a little trip, I didn't tell you how far we might be going. I didn't tell you our destination is the place I've dreamed of all my life. That I worry death waits for us there. But you see, following a dream is a kind of last resort for those who can't get back to sleep. Have you thought of just drinking more tea? No? Fine, I guess I'm in. I've been sleeping fine, though. For bad dreams, I've heard that people burn gold leaf. Nah, we're gonna go. Uh, and yeah, sure, we can take Elsie with us, I guess. Not having a- not having an archer will be annoying, but we have Duncan, so... Alright, so they're gonna go do this thing. There's four of you... You're trying to go alone, I think. A thick-grown woodland seems to invite them under its bowels. Wood and damp and the winter herbs that grow here all combine for a heady, fragrant zest in the air. You can imagine lovers might come here, caught up in some blazing forbidden tryst. Standing stones are kind of unusual. Hey, who are you dingots? Setting up camp on my doorstep. Get away from my omen stones. This place yours? Ask your name. Hey, no need for that. I didn't see you had weapons. You outlaws? You don't have to kill me. We were startled, that's all. She's old. My name's Duncan. This is Gilligan. We're from far away. Duncan, but you're the grizzly fighter from my dream. My name's Kodsha Fesker. Kodsha of Omens is how I'm known in Bad Goblin, and now it seems... Please come with me, Duncan. Let's stay wary, that's all. The woodland woman leads them among the trees, to the door of her secluded home. Be welcome! There's bark cheese and brine pork. Also upon my table, please find enlightenment. Keep a nice table. These old beams have stood me well. I chose a lucky spot, but I had the advantage of dreaming it, see? I've had dreams since I was a small girl. Dreams, true ones. You feel you should be able to profit from them. Dreams that pretend what may come. My grandmother was a seer also. Something some folks get born with, I suppose. She swigs bright blackberry wine. I was a young woman when I got run out of town. Kodsha of Omens, they called me. I told them the stores would burn, and so they did. It was a stray cinder. Folks blame me. I wish I found that surprising. But I, uh, but I knew it would happen. I told my mother an ailing father and left before the drunks showed up. My parents got to stay and live happily and visited me often in the later years. Life out here has been lonely sometimes, yeah, but rewarding in many ways. Time to time folks come and they drink from the well of sights my dreams have filled in me. And now you've come, Duncan. I'm creeping through my, creaking through my final years, but you've got the gift to be the next woodland seer. Next woodland seer? Duncan? Yes, it'd be the birth of a tradition, which will only strengthen the magic. In the many years I see left for you, you can help keep this world safe. But not in the way you've done, I'll teach you. We do have time for that. Sorry, but Gilligan and I... we have other plans, don't we? Lose Duncan, thwart many future incursions. No, I'm good. I can handle the incursions, and I don't want to separate from Gilligan. There are too many things I still want to do. Places to go, food to try, stories I want to be able to tell. I understand. What I don't understand is why you've come. It seems you have some other purpose. Duncan, your dream led us here. Do you think this... From outside, a tremendous roar erupts, shaking the stones of the house. Bjorg. Stay here. I dream this place would be devoured by flames. I'm given the chance to stop that from happening, and I will. Okay, what is this? Elsie is now a Greenhorn Warrior! Melee and range attacks deal more damage based on the percent of max health. Start a fire. Hmm. I'm gonna get untouchable. It's just a Bogmore and some Row. I might also try this episode to see if like, how long, cause I checked my save file and my save file is before the final fight. Um, unfortunately, so I would have to redo that entire final fight, which would take a little bit of time. 
wouldn't be the worst though like I guess so we might see if we can do that I'm not positive but we'll see how it goes uh but let's take care of this fight really quickly and see how things go here's my gloom glow um I do have this we can just throw a rock shield on one of these Okay, I can kill the row. I won't guarantee kill the bog more, so let's go with that. God, Gilligan is strong. And that's a row dead. And you're gonna hit Duncan, but that's fine, because Duncan will hit you back. Is that it? Yes. Yes, it was. Okay, yeah, that was pretty easy. Igneous bracelets, uh, bonus damage. I think I'm gonna want on like red or kest. Piercing shots, you get extra from potency. Red, jump jaw, thorn fang. Mm. I'll give it to red. I'll give it to red. After the fighting's done, the grateful Kajsha throws a small feast to thank them. The woodland seer, it seems, never foresaw this possibility, this random raving monster that would have devastated all she'd built. She and Duncan talked late into the night, sharing old dreams, wisdoms, and what-ifs. The old woman sees them off in the morning. What'd she give you? There's a new parcel among Duncan's things. Hmm? Oh, a keepsake. Something she used to wear. Anyone could use it. Myself, I already received a great gift from Kodsha, just knowing there was someone who understood, knowing these dreams have a purpose. That's about challenging fate, not accepting it. A lot of things you got. She's a generous woman. Some days later. We'll be in town by night, I think. Hey, Duncan. You wanna ask whether I'll think about it? The what if? Staying with Kadsha and seeing if I could do what she does? Yeah. Well, I regret it. Seemed like a comfortable living, didn't it? But I've already got you to fill my heart with. Last resort, though, I could always go back. The Gwelder Ring. Okay, so we just get a little, little something something. Uh... Duncan really doesn't feel like he needs the health. Let's give it to, like, Evaner or Elsie. You can have it, Elsie. Alright, and Duncan gets a level up and plus 7 retirement age. Duncan has plus 30% health. I almost clicked on that. Uh, melee attacks deal 4 damage to all other foes. I'll take that. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here, and we're gonna see if I can get that thing, like, get, get the rest of that cutscene. Maybe there's even something on, like, the main menu? Um... Possibly? Okay, I think maybe we will survive? Um, I have had to sacrifice Evaner. But, um, and Red. But, uh, <laughs> I think we might be fine? Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Um, basically I just threw a stream up while, uh... While I was redoing this, so I'm gonna have people. I just want to see the cutscene after. That's all I want. And uh, r ideally, I want Duncan to survive too. So it really showcases how hard of a fight this is. Like, I'm still having a tough time, and Gilligan still died. Never mind. That was too many enemies. Uh. Final moment. This wasn't supposed to happen. Gilligan collapses, and suddenly there's something wrapping itself around Duncan's heart. Uh, turn it into a shield. Duncan, plus 15 block for remainder of mission. 15 block. So wait, Gilligan, Duncan's heart hardens. Gilligan being done just means I lose, yeah. Damn. Despite your sacrifices, the battle at Musty's archive ended in defeat. Hmm. Okay, um, so I tried to go back and redo the fight to, um to see if maybe I could do it, and then we could at least see the cutscene. Uh, I lost the fight. <laughs> so, I was on turn seven, and Gilligan barely died. Like, the the literal final enemy, some stupid Thrusk walked up and hit him. Um, I even tried, like, putting other characters into walls so the enemies couldn't reach him, but there were just too many by that point. Guess it really showcases how difficult of a fight that was, but that, that attempt took me, like, 20 minutes, so... I can't just sit here and do that all day. It's unfortunate that, that 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 happened. I don't know why the game did that, but 
Oh well, we'll have to deal, I suppose. Maybe if I have more time or something, but it's not gonna matter soon. I mean, we probably didn't miss that much. I just wanted to see it. So, you stop going over there. Yes. You go help them. Go help them out, Hughes. Alright. Uh, or actually, wait, no, you, you can come over here. Never mind. Yeah, no, Hughes, Hughes, come over here. I'm, I'm getting all confused. God, but yeah, that fight is hard. There's just so many enemies pouring in. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, they're not there yet. The starseed tree. Everything grows on trees, but more things do than you might think. Once every long enough, a starseed tree blooms. Its soft lights ripen, then float off into the sky. That's where stars come from. Perhaps the snuffy god sneezed out of the sky, but I like this better. There are some lovely looking ones up high. You're not thinking of grabbing one, are you? Oh, I'm thinking. Because, see, the thing about a starseed tree is that none may climb it. It makes these rules anyway. Pluck the little light within arm's reach, climb to the nice looking one in the middle, attempt to climb to the top. That's a nice looking one. 63. I don't scare off Tyros Crofton that easy. Watch my stuff. Yeah, no, Tyros would do this. And say he's not determined. Something about the starseed lights that's disorienting. They break up distance in a way that makes Tyros have to keep track of his limbs. Arm, leg, arm, leg, other leg, right? He brings up childhood memories of racing the other boys up winding oaks in the woods. Skinny Rogue almost beat me once. Almost. Whoa! That was close getting sloppy, Tyros. Anyway, perhaps this is far enough. Tyrus snaps off a stick bearing a fine bright orb. Then with a little more rustle and jostle, he descends the starseed trunk. Watch the ankles, huh? Be a shame to crack them on the last few feet. My ankles are dependable. Womp. The jostled tree let go of its lights, and sure enough, they float off slowly into the dark. Off to the, uh, wherever they go. At least I won't mind being one star short this season. Well, you got something then? See for yourself. Plus three stunt chance, I will take that. And a star seed wand. Ooh, wait, that's pretty good actually. It's only tier two, unfortunately. Hmm. I mean, I could just give it to you. You have a tier three, so I don't want to give it to you even though this one is an artifact, which is very, very nice. I might just give this to Tyros. He'll lose out on having the staff and he won't have water anymore. But, yeah. I mean, I can always just put it in the second slot so we don't even have to get rid of the staff if I ever want to swap to the staff to give you a little bit of extra block. All right, um, let's build something here. Heartwoods and spell threads. We're getting a lot of spell threads. Spell threads is actually what we're getting the most of. So... Hides and Heartwoods may be slightly better, but Spell Threads are needed for so much. Let's still make the Forest Shrine. I still feel like that's the better call. Alright, we're good. Done. Forest Shrine dedicated. You go scout this. Incursion spreading. Arrow Wild uh, can seem much smaller on a map. That was the first thing they learned. For a day and a half, winding tracks have pulled Tyros and Kest up into wilder traces. The only music is sung by wolves, birds, and wind, played by the crickets and woodpeckers. Left the others to blow to scout more common paths. They camp for an evening in a stand of firs with the light filtering in. High in the forest, the ground shows its granite skeleton. Here, Tyrus. In a big birch tree by the river, a bobcat with a tomcat's liver. Now the next verse gets kind of dirty. Oh well, supposed to get dinner going. Mm. A flour and a salt, potatoes, just potatoes you left me, guess. Thank you. You're lucky you're... Mm. Tyros, Tyros, here, come here real quick. I think we've seen this one. What's that? There's a snake, so you get snake bit? Can I get... No, but I need you to follow me because it's... Anyway. Hurry. Also sorry. When are you gonna kiss me? When you stop being shy yourself, come here. Oh, you saved the world. Uh, let's try me then. Okay, yeah, I'm down with Tyros and Kest getting together. Come here. Wait a minute, I'm tough and obnoxious. You're at least one of those. You're acting like someone's going to get mad at us. Out of you. We're listening. To, uh, we're talking to every single lady in Listed. Or else, if the moon finds us here, soberly discussing this, I'll kiss you, and it'll never be the same. 
and you'll never be the same. Kiss! Tyrus and Kest have fallen in love. Oh, what a wholesome outcome. Uh, Primal Altar provides hides and spell threads. It just cost me a legacy point. Honestly, I don't even think I need it. I think I would rather just go scout some of these other things. So, Root Steel Oaks. Um, how dangerous is it? Eight lurking, level eight lurking deepest. I think we got this with these four. Outside of Coldshar Windmill, a breeze rolls through the treetops. Spotted? Oh wait, it's this one. Why is it wherever I stand, the smoke follows? Yeah. We'll lose the deepest if we don't move now, and then it gets to blab about its friends. We need to at least prepare it. Last time I said we need to at least prepare it. This time let's say let's go. Chaotic departure from camp and soon. Wand? Wand? I doubt it's the fire. It's probably fine. Running and trying to tighten buckles at the same time is not easy. The would-be scout doesn't get far. Before Duncan and Gilligan bring it down. It's been a while since a single deepest was enough to scare us. Thing is, though, it's never just a single deepest. The sound of bellows and battle horns goes up not far from them. Look at it this way. They probably didn't expect this particular turn of events either. Okay, so yeah, we just we took out one and they don't get a warning, I guess. Alright, well, I'll take this battle uh, out really quickly. Alright, this should be the end of the fight here. Wasn't too bad. It was a little bit of a struggle with three warriors and one mage, but we got it done. Alright, LC is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Successfully counterattack after successful melee blocker dodge. This would actually be pretty good on LC because I have Untouchable on her. No longer wears off after one turn. Could be good. But let's get this. Worm Slicer. Powerful greatsword. Plus 5 accuracy, plus 10 block. Currently have a dueling sword. This would give you more block. You just have a lower stunt chance. I'll put that on you. That's a fun one. There you go. We haven't really used that one that much. All right, so I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, because I've still got to get it up today. I've had a lot to do today. Had a lot of errands in the morning and stuff, so. All right, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.